every day I get up and go to work just for my hard earned tax dollars to go to someone who doesn't want to work. She doesn't deserve it. They only give it to you because you vote for them. I have a family to feed. I have to put dinner on my table. These are the phrases that are circling around society. This is why I decided to focus my paper on the stigma revolving around SNAP benefits and food insecurity. The stigma in SNAP benefits is the judgment and backlash that people receive for accessing governmental assistance. This discourages eligible people, hardworking people. A good example of this is an article by Claudia Wilcox. She goes into explicit detail about how her students are full-time students while also maintaining a part-time job. They are all, some students are also taking care of their children when they get off from school. She also provides detail about how she is providing for her students. She is bringing food from home. She is starting food banks. She's encouraging student, other students and other teachers to donate to those in need. She wants to spread awareness that the government, the people who have the power in order to change this are not exercising their abilities. And I quote, she states in her article, Food Insecurity and Institutional Response, how can students provide their best effort and their studies if they are worried about what they are going to have. Another example I want to bring to light is an article by Lucy Birmingham in search of the next meal. She discovered while conducting a survey that one in four students at this university has to take shortcuts and skip meals because they simply cannot afford to eat three meals a day. Her and engineers have decided that they wanted to create food banks, but with the stigma that has been revolving around the campus and revolving around society as a whole, they have to think a little bit outside of the box. So they have decided that they wanted to add a splash of color, making the space more inviting and welcoming and hospitable. So those who are discouraged or embarrassed they feel welcome, they come to my understanding that a lot of people do not understand the steps that it takes in order to be eligible for SNAP benefits. First, you must complete an application. This application is then processed by someone who has the qualifications to determine whether you are eligible for an interview or not. In the interview, you will be asked a variety of questions, such as what is your livelihood like? Do you have a spouse? Do you have any children? Do you live with anyone? Are you in college? How much money do you have in your bank at this moment? How much money do you make a year? And followed by those questions will be followed by another variety of questions, such as following after, are you in college? Well, do you live in a dorm? Are you on a meal plan? How much money do you make? Do you have a part-time job? Are you a full-time student? The Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program has quoted on their website that they do not discriminate whether it's on race, color, national origin, age, disability, or religious, or political. As far as what has been done by the government in terms of the stigma that has actively been growing, they have issued out transfer EBT cards. So you do not have to meet with anyone, you do not have to gather at an event, you do not have to go to a food bank, you simply get a card, they transfer you the money that can only be used for food and you can use it on the food at the grocery store. But the problem that they have developed is that they like to print graphics on the card. Sometimes it'll be just a simple black line that says a bold EBT or it will have the American flag across the front and it is very easy to spot. The cars are so flashy and so vibrant that it's easy to spot and they're potential victims of the judgment and stigma that has been growing over time in society. The possible solutions that I have come up with is definitely education. Education is extremely important when it comes to getting people to understand the process, the qualifications, the requirements that you need in order to receive SNAP benefits. Yes, it is the
process is provided on the Snap Benefits website, but if it is the face of the website, if it's the most important thing that they want you to understand, then I feel like it would get through to more people so we can reduce the stigma that people receive since people understand what they had to go through in order to receive the benefits. Another solution that we can look into is providing free meals for those in primary and secondary school from elementary to high school so that parents who are struggling to put dinner on the table have one less meal to worry about and they do not have to give their children money or send their kids to school without money and have them go hungry for the rest of the day. Another solution that I've come up with is discretion. Definitely take a look at those cards and make them look like a debit card, just a regular simple debit card or make them black, make them a simpler color and do not include graphics so they're not very easy to spot so people are not discouraged or embarrassed when trying to use them in public. So like most of the world's problems, this is not a simple fix. It is very hard to alter opinions, to change people's minds, but this shouldn't be a reason why we shouldn't try. This isn't something that we should put on the back burner and never come back to simply because it is hard. That's why we have so many problems in the world. We need to prioritize what is important. And what is important is having our people fed, making sure that most of the world is not hungry simply because of embarrassment, simply because of judgment, because of mockery and jealousy, because someone cannot receive benefits they want to shame people who receive benefits education discretion looking at other sources these are all steps in the right direction